up, y'all? This is Limitless Tuning back at the game with another video. Don't forget, there's no limit besides the limit that you set yourself. And today, I'm gonna be bringing the car to the mechanic shop. I'll bring the car to the mechanic shop and I'm gonna fix a few things because there's a few things wrong with the car after it came out of the shop. So, originally, my car had a Cali converter. I went to do the engine swap. Next thing you know, when the car came out of the shop, I grabbed it to drive it back home. It was missing a catalytic converter, missing auto O2 sensors, and the clutch is very sticky. It gets stuck to the ground sometimes, and it got worse over time. So therefore, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it to the shop so they see what's wrong with it and fix it without any actual charge, since it wasn't like that before. Catalytic converter was there before, but when I got the car back, it was missing. I told them about it. One of my people got me a two and a half magnet flow catalytic converter, which I'm gonna be throwing on this car, and. I'm gonna have one of the guys at the shop weld it onto the pipes. And my head gasket is blown, so I'm gonna have them replace my head gasket too. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm about to lift up the car so you see that I don't have a catalytic converter and how it looks like afterwards. And I'm gonna record an exhaust comparison before and after the catalytic converter, see if there's a big difference or not. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm about to jack up the car right now. This is definitely my favorite result after doing the cool event. I can put the jack stand under the car now. Perfectly fine, with no clearance issue at all. Uh, as you guys can see, there's no goddamn catalytic converter. It's a big ass pipe from the header all the way to the mid pipe. I got a resonator down there and a muffler. Where the fuck my catalytic converter go, boy? All right, so I'm gonna do an exhaust sound test before and after catalytic converter. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the video yet, but I'm gonna have them install O2 sensors too, so that it runs better. But yeah, now let's start up the car and hear the exhaust. <laughs> Drop the car at the shop and I'm gonna pick it up and we're gonna see how it is. They're gonna be working on it either today, tomorrow, maybe take three days, who knows? But whenever it's done, I'm gonna come by, pick it up, see how it sounds, runs, and everything. So stay tuned. One eternity later. Well, quick update. So the shop is closed today. But my people's had my keys and my Honda. I went to go to his house, grab the key, the Honda, and I came to the shop. Even though it was closed, it was parked in the parking lot of the shop. I went to go plug in the Honda, started the car. It cranked over. It sounded very weird. Like they didn't have enough fuel. Like it was dying. And next thing you know, it just dies. Just flat on his face. And I looked at the fuel gauge. I'm like, holy shit, it's on E right now. So yep, now I'm gonna go get some fuel, fill it up to the top. With regular gas and then put the gas back in my car bring my car back home but i'm not gonna be recording any video footage of the car right now because it's way too dark camera won't be able to really see much so i'm gonna do it tomorrow in the morning or afternoon <laughs> I said, that's the max. The very next evening. Alright, so there was another problem yesterday when I went to go pick up the car. So I went to go pick it up yesterday. Started up three times, it died out. All three times, it fell right flat on his face. So I was told that the throttle position sensor was fucked up. So then I just left the car there at the shop for another night for the mechanic to calibrate it so it's the next day he said he recalibrated everything is good now so i'm gonna go pick up the car but i'm gonna have my boy drive me over this because i'm got a car to drive over there to pick up my car and we're most likely going to do a race just to see where the car is at like 95 percent sure so stay tuned one hour later all right we're finally here about to pick up the car right now gotta plug this joint in right here the ecu into the honda civic and got my cameraman right here chow which i'm gonna be What's racing up? too Alright, let's, let's go. Let's get it. Here it is. Oh, you can't see it because it's dark, but yeah. just know it's there. It's right Look there. at this thing. Still missing a front bumper, but it's alright. Right. It's, it's in progress. It's in progress. Alright, let's see. Moment so you have to plug it in? Yeah, I have to plug it in. I wish this had a flash. <laughs> you gotta get some gas to too, because it's on E again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, moment of truth, man. Uh, record the, the odometer right here. Alright, let's see. Let's see the beauty. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's see how it runs. Ooh. Woo! This is way better now, boy. Got 1,100 RPM. 
But it's 1,500. Yeah, it's like almost 1,000 RPM. You see? It's kind of, wait, it looks like 1,150 RPM, which is good enough at the moment. And got a little bit of gas left. So we Gucci. Let's get you to place. Let's, let's get a race going. What's the word? <laughs> I'm following you first. All right, All right. About to meet up with him. Back out real quick. Yeah, we good. There you go. <laughs> I gotta wait for this car. Fucking god damn it. You need to clean your back windshields, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this whole shit is dirty as hell. I'm gonna let this guy go. Is he gonna get it from me? Yup. Hold on, let the car pass you. Yep, loading. Ready? Down, I didn't want to go too fast around that corner. My car is in my that's, Yeah, your suspension's not checked yet the, the correct way. Once that's okay, I think it'd be better. Yeah, I was like, yep, I'm not going faster. I'm not trying to die. No, no, but either, either way, I like that, bro. We was head to head. That shit was smooth. Yeah, my shit is very untuned right now. Let's see. Let's take uh, get another race once I get my shit tuned, too. I'm down. That was a lot closer than I thought. Yeah, it's running much smoother. <laughs> I didn't feel the VTEC though, so I don't think he put VTEC on my shit. VTEC didn't kick in for me. Why? It's supposed to. VTEC didn't kick in to me because I'm using a Honda. I think he put the the stock V20 non VTEC base map. Yeah, bro, no VTEC. Oh, that's. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel it because I, I got stuff on it like that. VTEC would have been kicked in and it would have just pulled the car mad crazy out of nowhere. I hear you spin. I hear you spinning. <laughs> yeah, it was spinning. This car still good. It feels mad smooth now, but it just don't have VTEC. So I'm going to get a dyno tune. I'm going to have VTEC. Ah, uh, when your car gets dy uh, dyno and VTEC? Hell yeah. Because it wasn't too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, happy man. I was really wrong, you know, I'm gonna get out here too. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Because it's on Hondata right now, bro. It's using Hondata right now. And Hondata's actually working out, so I'm smooth, bro. My tires are bad too. Either way, your your tires are balding, but then eventually you're gonna have new tires, so it's gonna even be even so better. Once I get good tires, I have bad traction. Yeah, there's no v tech at all, bro. Now we at the gas station, I'm gonna put some gas, you know. Um, it's not what I was expecting, he actually kept up pretty much almost the whole way. But I realized I didn't have no VTEC and my shit was not tuned at all. So I believe that uh, the mechanic uploaded a V20 non VTEC base map, a stock one. So that's why my shit is not pushing like I would expect it to. There was no VTEC, no nothing there, but it was doing really good. It was pretty fucking smooth, no cap. Yeah, but I just bought some gas and um, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah put I'm some excited. gas. Excited. Yeah, you excited. Very excited. He was actually running for it. Got into gear and everything like it's supposed to. Definitely excited. Uh, next up, I gotta change out my throttle position sensor, put in my intake and bring some Dela Cruz to get my shit tuned. And let's see how it goes when you get it tuned. I might actually race him again with VTEC and Able. Let's see how it goes. Alright, yo. The next day. Uh, yo, it's the next day. The car is finally back, parked up in the front of the crib. So I'm about to start up the car and let you guys hear how the exhaust sounds right now. After the catalytic converter has been put in. But before I do that, I'm going to pretty much let you guys know, hip y'all, on what was done to the car at the shop. I ended up getting my clutch master cylinder replaced because it was fucked up. I also got my valve cover gasket replaced. It wasn't the head gasket that was bad, it was the valve cover gasket. It was leaking through a valve cover gasket. I had them put in the catalytic converter with all the O2 sensor and everything. I also had them fix my idling issue because we're idling too high. Now it's idling better. And my Hondado was also acting up. It goes right into limp mode. As soon as I plug it in, turn on the car and start revving or start driving, it goes right into limp mode. I asked if they could figure that out for me and the mechanic fixed it. It doesn't have that problem at all anymore. I was able to drive with the Honda plugged in with no problem now. Car feels a lot smoother. Alright, right, let's go start with the car and let's hear how the exhaust is sounding like. That's what the exhaust sounds like after the catalytic converter has been put in with the O2 sensors. Let me show you guys the catalytic converter. You guys will be able to see it. Uh, nope, I'm about to come from the side. It's the catalytic converter right there. They put it in, O2 sensor and all that, so we Gucci. Let me know how you guys feel about the exhaust sound and if it made a difference or not. Let me know in the comments. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it very much. And this will be the end of the video. Catch you guys next time.